I didn't grow up with Transformers, but I grew up watching my friends, younger brothers and sisters, playing with them, watching it, et cetera. So I saw the passion that kids had for it as a young, young man, young adult. Um, and so when we decided to take it on, I knew we were having a, a passionate audience. Uh, and one that was fully invested in it. You know, the, the challenge was essentially to, to go from a cartoon look to a feature film real reality-based experience. It was a real challenge to think about how to bring the Maximals into this world because cars and animals are not a natural fit. Uh, environmentally, we had to get to a jungle because they can't hide in the city the way Autobots can. Uh, and so there were a lot of new factors, really, in a funny way about literally just coming up with a construct that made sense. The character arcs of Optimus and, and Dominique and, um, and Noah, Noah and um, Elena, um, that's something we haven't done a lot of before. And so I think it's a new part of the experience for them. Our Transformers audience is incredibly loyal, and we uh, do our best to give them new and give a really close to what is the lore and mythology of Transformers. So, um, and and of course, we introduce the Maximals. So, it's something the fans have been have been uh, really active about on online, saying, "Come on, let's get the Maximals going." So, um, so I think you know, if you're a Transformers fan, you have a lot of things here that that you're going to relate to that you either grew up with or you've come to love over time. Non-Transformer fan, we work really hard not to uh, to make sure that you don't have to be inside to understand anything, that, that you're being introduced to these characters in a way that you can just absorb them and not think you're missing out on something.